understand it, today we're going to take a look at rolling objects and the moment of inertia. Now in a previous episode, I explained a lab where my students had to build an object to roll down the table as quickly as possible. Three. Go. Oh my God. And also an object that rolled down the table as slowly as possible. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh. The oh. winner is... Oh. 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 But while they were doing that, I want them to get a feel for what exactly is taking place. So we're going to take a closer look. One. Now as these objects roll down the table, their potential energy changes into two types of kinetic. Watch close. Oh. We have translational kinetic energy, which increases as it picks up speed. As the objects move down the table, oh. friction causes them to turn. And that's going to change some of the energy into rotational kinetic energy. After doing a little investigating, students will soon learn that the placement of the mass makes a big difference. As more force is needed to make an object turn, the slower it accelerates. The resistance to turning is called the moment of inertia. Objects with mass on the inside have less resistance to turning than objects with mass on the outside. To start, let's not look at the whole mass turning, Let's look at the mass of just a single point. This equation tells us that the moment of inertia equals mass times distance squared. This means the further the mass is away from the center of rotation, the more force is going to be needed to make it move. I have these two long bars that are attached to a center pin. Now both of those bars are able to rotate around this position, but the first bar has a lead weight that's attached very close to the center of rotation. The second bar has the same lead weight, but it's placed at a much further distance away from the center of rotation. So what I want to do is I want to attach this to a table. We're going to lift them up and release them and observe what happens. Now gravity is applying the same force to both weights. As we clearly see, the object closer to the center of rotation will accelerate quicker around its axis. Now let's apply this to objects that roll. These are two standard objects that are sold by science companies. We see that the one that has more mass in the center rolls a little bit quicker. I want to add a third object here. The ball has more of its mass towards the center than the cylinder does, so it's going to accelerate even quicker. Here are a few homemade pieces that share the same principle. They weigh the same, only the mass is located at different positions. I think this one shares it the best, so let's try it. Now, if I want to feel this moment of inertia on a large scale, I have these two wooden blocks attached to this meter stick. And if I hold it here in the center, I can turn it back and forth very quickly. It doesn't require much effort. But I want to move the blocks to the outside. There you go. Tighten them down. Now, in one rotation, these blocks would be covering a much bigger circle, so I've increased the moment of inertia. Now, if I try and turn it, <laughs> You see it going much slower, it's much harder to turn, it requires more torque simply because I've increased the distance that they must travel as I rotate it around the center of my hand. Now we can repeat this experiment with all sorts of things. For example, I have a wooden dowel and an apple and I'll put a second one on here and I'm going to use a paper clip just to hold it in place. Once again, if I turn it now, it's very easy to turn, but as I move these to the outside, we're increasing the moment of inertia and I can feel that it's much harder to turn. To try this on a smaller scale, I'm going to take these sinkers and tape them to these metal bars, or you could also use rulers. I'm going to have one set with the weights taped to the inside, and I have a second set which has the weights taped to the outside. So the next step is simply pick it up between your thumb and finger, and turn it back and forth. Very easy to turn. Pick this one up and it's much harder. <laughs> I want my students to feel this for themselves. Now let's apply that to our rolling objects. Mass on the inside. Mass on the inside, it's going to accelerate quicker. Mass towards the outside. Mass towards the outside. Harder to turn, it has a greater moment of inertia. So that's what's going to happen with these other objects. Mass towards the outside, it's going to be harder to turn because it has to move at a greater distance. So if we put more of the mass towards the center, it doesn't have to turn it as far. This is even more mass towards the inside. And if I want it to go as quickly as possible, 
I want to try and get as much mass turning as little as possible. So one last race. Let's try these two together. <laughs> 